Well, hey, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasme. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what the uh, what the spirit, what spirit, I was going to say the universe, but what spirit has uh, in store for you guys today. I don't know why I see that you guys are healing from a heartbreak, disappointment, that type of thing. I see a lot of healing here. Um... And some communication here and there is what I'm saying. So we're going to go ahead and see what this is all about. We're not going to feel defeated. Some of you guys are in this position of feeling a little defeated. Ooh, this could be your person because you do got somebody in this reading here. This could be you with the King of Cups. Maybe you love someone you haven't told them. Um, but someone who's just emotionally mature is what I'm saying here. Okay, all right. Maybe there's been some distance between you and someone. Emotional as far as your emotions. But I do feel like peace is coming. Or are you going to feel at peace? That's what I said, right? Remember when I was talking about healing in general? I feel like you guys are going to be feeling like that. Feeling better. Oh, we got the emperor. Wow. A lot of masculine energy, and I understand that it could be, but I it's just the way I read, okay? So, I, and plus my audience is major, majority women. So, even if the men are watching this or whoever, okay, um, this this will be the, the males, and then this will be the, the divine feminine watching what the divine masculine is looking at. So, hey, we get to see what the divine masculine is feeling right now, okay? <laughs> I do feel that the divine masculine at this point is feeling a little guilty about something or or feeling very over um uh let me see feeling burdened by something um so whether they committed some type of crime of passion um or you were uh someone did it with you divine masculine there is a burden here i do feel burdened and this is not to say that the divine feminine hasn't been feeling it but I definitely feel that the Divine Masculine at this point is really feeling like they're going to have to take charge. <laughs> they're going to have to do something here. But let's keep going. I really do feel like they want to express themselves, but they're kind of resisting and holding back here. Hmm. You guys could be in a marriage or this could be where you guys are going. Didn't I say heartbreak? I, I said it, didn't I? I said I feel like you guys are healing over heartbreak. And right now, this could have just happened. For some, this could be something that you may experience in the future here with the Three of Swords, with the Three of Pentacles. I really do feel like there's some type of interference. This could be attitude. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person. Some of you guys have experienced this where other people, attitudes, job, family, someone has came in between you and someone that you were about to marry or someone that you are in a marriage with, someone that you wanted to be married to. Where now, like I said before, there's some type of distance. There's emotional distance here. Okay. A lot of disappointment and heartbreak is what I'm saying here, Cancer. A lot of emotional, you know, just disappointment. Just feeling, not feeling good. Let's get some more. A lot. Look at all of these, this divine energy, divine masculine energy. Oh, and the queen came out, but she wasn't joking. So I, I can tell, like I said before, again, this is at the bottom of the deck. There has been some issues, some problems, and there has not been any communication. And I really do feel like emotionally, you guys feel like there's too much distance. Maybe something is dying off here. Someone wants to make peace with you, Cancer, though. I do see that. Let's be honest. The King of Wands take action. They take action here. This could have happened a while ago, but they do. Let's get it. Ooh, I see a marriage here. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Cancer, Four of Wands, the Emperor, and the Ten of Pentacles is here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Cancer. I just got a feeling. I got a feeling. Why did this flip over? <laughs> 
this just flipped over on my thumb just like that. Spirit, I'm taking it. Okay, somebody want to work something out. This is going to end up being a long-term committed relationship. Yeah, because there was some type of backstabbing, any ending, some type of um, heartbreak, hurt. Remember, we saw the Three of Swords. I talked about that from the jump in the beginning of this reading. There has been that here. And someone is like, I cannot live without cancer. I got to have them in my life. You cut them off or maybe they cut you off. However this happened. But whoa, holy moly. I, I really do see some type of reconciliation. And someone is going to really put effort here. It's a lot of mature emotion, like a lot of emotions here. I got to be honest. Like it's not just about emotion, maturity, maturity. Because we got the Emperor, we got the King of Cups, we got the King of Wands. There was definitely a third party just because we have so many, you know, Kings and Emperor or whatever. Um, and, you know, but I feel like um, there's going to be a reconciliation. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Let's go ahead. Let's get the King of Cups. Holy moly. That was easy. <laughs> so if you're not married, it looks like that's where you guys are headed. And if you are married, it looks like someone wants to reconcile. Yeah, look at this. Lovers here. I got the Empress right next to the Emperor. Oh, yeah, this is a twin flame. This is definitely divine. A lot of love here. Mm-hmm. And stability. A lot of love and stability. You guys are dealing with someone who is very capable of taking care of a family. Divine, feminine, or masculine at this point. Wow. I mean, someone could have gotten pregnant by someone else, though. Or there could be a baby with someone else. But I definitely see somebody wants to come in. Oh, man. When I tell you they want, they really want to make this work. Let's get the Six of Swords. Yeah. This person is coming in quick. And it's because it was a third party. Like I said, I already saw that. And we see the other person here with the Queen of Wands. Mm hmm. Wow. A lot of you guys are in a committed relationship. It's almost like a marriage. You've been together for a while. You guys are definitely at odds right now with each other. Let's get the emperor. You guys want to have a decision to make truthfully. There it is. Six of swords again. Somebody wants to come in and there's that ten of wands. Didn't I tell you? I caught this from the first from the jump of this. I could tell this had something to do with endings and someone feeling guilty or someone feeling very loaded down with like, you know, burdens. Um, if this, if the divine masculine didn't do this, they are very, very much taken back by it. And it's really getting to them, especially if the divine feminine cheated. So on both ends, really, um, there's a lot of hurt here. But I really do see that someone is needing peace and someone wants to make peace. I mean, we see it in this reading, but it's going to be kind of up to the individual who, you know, if you're the one, if you're the one who this happened to, you know, it's going to be up to you. Do you want to accept them back or not? But I see love here. I see love happening regardless. This could be new. This could be someone from the past. Three of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Someone is oof, disappointed. Didn't I tell you? A lot of disappointment, a lot of regret. Look at this. Holy moly. Wow. This very dramatic readings. And I'm not sure if it's because of all the planetary retrogrades. It's just, it's a lot of it has just something to do with just uh, a lot of sadness. A lot of regret, a lot of return for a lot of signs, to be honest with you. Let's get the King of Wands. Yeah, there is going to be some type of um, action being taken. And I just feel like there's, it's been a second. Like you guys haven't talked or you need to heal. Maybe the, the you needed to heal from this King of Wands. Maybe the King of Wands needed to heal from you. It, whatever it is, it really needs to take a lot of healing. But things are going to go into, in, in, in a better direction here. But wow, this is why the queen cut this night off. Like the night was just reckless at this point. Queen of Swords. Mm 
Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. I want to tell you what popped. I'm taking it. I want to tell you what popped over. So this is what popped over. Okay. So this is opportunities regardless. Somebody may have wanted an opportunity and you cut it away. But to me, that queen is like she already cut it, the person away. But the, the queen of swords also is very guarded and very blunt. So I feel like when this person tries to come back in, wanting a new opportunity, you're not going to be joking. Why? Because they were dealing with other people. And this is not over yet here. But the truth here with this, ooh-wee. This is the other two that popped over but didn't. This is a potential for what could happen. I'm just going to tell you. I am going to take this because this is the one that really fell out. But when I tell you this is like very on the brink uh, of ending. And for some of you, it is over with. That is a fact. That is a fact. For a lot of you, it's over with. Um, this person may come in and apologize, but... For a lot of you, I don't know if you're going to be able to um, forget the past. That's just how I feel. Let's get the Ten of Pentacles. Especially if you had family with this person. Yeah, you see? What should I do? Two of Swords. Yep, what should I do? Somebody's waiting on an answer. Someone's waiting here. A lot of you guys are really going to be at a crossroad because um, a lot of you guys have been with this person for a very long time. They betrayed you. And for some of you, you still are considering to be with them because you want to be with them for a while. But this judgment card here lets me know that I want to find out. This could either be final judgment call. It's over with. It's done. Or, you know, it's going to be reconciliation. And it's literally both because it's a general reading. But we're going to see what is going to really come out. Somebody's thinking about it here with that seven of pentacles. That's what fell out. A lot of hardcore thinking here. These are the other ones. Look at this. Ooh. <sighs> to be honest with you, I think that after a while, um, it depends because I still see that Ten of Swords. Some of you guys are just not going to be able to do it. You see how like you're thinking long and hard about the heartache and then you don't even know if you can trust them here. This is really going to be up to you. Truly Cancer. Wow, this is pretty heartbreaking just because it ended with that Ten of Swords. You know, I see that it, for some, like I said, when I saw that tower and that death card, that's how I knew that a lot of you guys are not going to take this person back. But even though somebody wants a new opportunity, but you don't know right now, the two of swords came out. So it really is going to be your decision. So this is what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.